Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Elizabethtown High School here at the Ron Bevers Gym. I'm sorry, at Charlie Rollins Memorial Gymnasium. For tonight's fifth region boys basketball action, we had a little bit of change of time as we were coming down at six o'clock as it'll be a boy girl doubleheader. Our nightcap will have the Elizabethtown girls taking on Christian Academy of Louisville. I am Bobby Thompson and joined by Coach Chris Porter. And Coach Porter, we've seen both of these teams uh, during the season, and, and this is a great matchup right at the end of the season before district play. What do you expect out of tonight's ball game? Well, it's, a, it's co contrasting styles. I mean, you've got LaRue County uh, with uh, Mark Good in the middle. You know, E-Town doesn't have anybody near that size, so it'll be interesting to see what the pace of this game is. If E-Town can get the tempo going up and down to where Good has to run the floor, or it becomes a half-court game where Rue County can run their offense and get him some touches. Uh, again, we talked about this when we had, we've had E-Town before. Can they rebound the ball against tonight against Rue County's big front line? A lot of that's going to go is how, how fast the game's played. Are they, are they scoring in transition or are they having to run offense uh, to get their baskets? So, like you said, this is a, you know, you could, you could turn around in two weeks and see this, assuming both these teams advance as re the first round of the region matchup, because somebody's going to have to play some really good teams. Was looking at that today. Um, you know, E-Town or John Harden, if it plays out that way, one of them's going to be a loser. And if you're LaRue County, this could be a first-round matchup for you. So it's a really good matchup this time of the year. Expect a really good basketball game. For Elizabethtown, they come in 21-2 and two on the season, 12-1 and one in fifth region play, while the Hawks come in with an 18-6 and six record on the season and an 11-1 and one fifth region uh, record this year. Starters tonight for LaRue County will be Warner Bryan, Jeremiah Britton, Carson Childress, Chase Childress, and Mark Good. For the Panthers, it'll be Alondre Murphy, Jaquias Franklin, Kaya Sherrard, Cam Williams, and Miles Fields. We'll get into this a little bit more, but Cam Sherrard back in on the lineup, on the bench right now. He did go through workout or uh, pregame workouts for Elizabethtown. Has been injured. See how much Coach Hare is able to use him. Yeah, he's key going forward. Like we talked about, they're a totally different team uh, when he's when he's in the lineup. Rue County controls the opening tip, and it goes off Warner Bryan's foot and out of bounds and over to Elizabethtown. Yeah, Murphy fell down there, and I think he had visions of dunking that ball and then just kicked it. Two-three zone by LaRue. Kaya Sherrard, three on the way. It's good. And this is another, can Baruch County's guards handle the pressure? You know, because E-Town will get into you a little bit in the full court. Entry to Mark Good. I'll just put that on record and repeat. He has an ability to make space down low and is really good around the basket. Murphy stop on the baseline, puts up 15 footer, no good. Brian with the rebound. Quickly ahead from Britton to Carson. Childers inside to Mark Good, and he's fouled. Be heading to the line to shoot two. Good job uh -huh. running the floor by Good there. Lurie did a good job on it, just throwing it ahead. Foul on Miles Fields, his first team's first. In and out. Good with one more to come. Rue County will finish off the season this Friday night as they will host Warren Central. And for the Panthers, they will finish off the season this Thursday night as they will host Bullet East. Good misses both of those free throws. Ethan still up by one. Franklin from the corner for three. Long, knocked around. Carson Childress comes down with it. Actually, Chase Childress came down with that one. Britton guarded by Kaya Sherrard. And Childress three, no good. Good gets the rebound and the putback. Ran Childress off a couple of screens down there at the bottom. He had a wide open look. Franklin inside, that one stolen away by Good. He tried to make one extra pass. 
to Carson. Childress gets it into Warner. Bryant's going to be tied up there, and it should be Elizabethtown basketball. Good hustle by Franklin there after that turnover. Murphy in the middle, back to Franklin, three top of the key. It's off. Brian with the rebound to Chase Childress. Plays it off to Britton. Inside up off the glass, and he gets his first two points of the night. A step through move by Britton. Nobody stopped the ball. LaRue up 6 3, 5 40 to go here in our opening quarter. Survival reset the offense. Finds Murphy free throw line, 15 footer on the way. No good. Warner Bryan with the rebound. Good, did a nice job there contesting. That one, Kai Sherrard tips away. Franklin gets it. Franklin dishes off to Cam Williams, and Williams with his first bucket. Carson Childress with it, guarded by Franklin. And Carson Childress for three, off the iron. Franklin with the rebound. Quickly ahead to Cam Williams. Drops it back off to Franklin in the lane. Now Kaya Sherrard, three is blocked by Warner Bryan. He'll stay with the Panthers. Thought Sherrard might head fake and kind of go around in there. Franklin in the corner with it. Really not much movement out of the Panthers at all. And so far, LaRue County's got the game where they want it. I mean, this is a this is a half-court game, six to five, four minutes to go here in the first quarter. Kyle Sherrard inside out to Murphy. His three on the way. It's good. And that was with Warner Bryant flying at him. Britton gets down, finds Carson Childress in the corner. Trying to get it inside to good. Good job by Fields. Knocks it away. It'll stay with the Hawks. Quickly into Britton and Miles Fields gets the steal. Up to Franklin, it's good. That's a great job by Fields. He knew what was coming on that inbounds play. He just jumped in front of Good and picked that off. It made a really nice pass to Franklin. And with 3.29 to go in this opening quarter, Newtown on top, 10-6 over the Hawks. This is the Hardin County Educational Community Television Student Production. HCC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel 1 programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunication needs. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results. Ryan Harris of Remax Premier Properties for all your real estate needs. Bluegrass Cellular, offering the most affordable unlimited plan anywhere. E-Town Exterminating, 270-737-6900. And West Point Bank, let us help make life simpler. Hometown banking made simple. Be remiss to say that our thoughts and condolences go out to the Roy Rich family. Founder, uh, owner, operator of E-Town Exterminating, a longtime supporter of sports in Hardin County, passed away earlier this week. We'd like to thank him and his family for all their contributions to the Hardin County community. Back to action, Jeremiah Britton brings it up, Kaya Sherrard on him. E-Town really extending their defense. And that one thrown away and goes over to E-Town. That's the thing. One thing that E-Town hasn't done early in this ball game is really like a run and jump at the guards. They're just playing tight man to man. That time forced the turnover. Yeah. 
Find Cam Williams, a good pass down low. Britton, actually Britton gets it and throws it off the field. Good hustle. And Cam Sherrard are in the lineup now for the Panthers. Cam Sherrard will pick up that foul, his first team second. And obviously, you know, Coach Harris told his guards, you know, you be physical, get into them. And a little over aggressive there. Kaya Sherrard. That goes off of Jeremiah Britton. That's going to get Caden Davis into the lineup for the Hawks. Kaya Sherrard set to inbounds this one for the Panthers. Murphy gets into the lane, 14 footer on the way, no good. Warner Bryan with the rebound. Brewer County's had some open possessions here the last couple times, had a turnover. And they just they missed Bryan down low right there. And Fields again plays over the top of good. Knocks it away. Murphy on the other end blocked, but Jaquias Franklin with the rebound and put back. It was six to three at one point. And there's a steal by Murphy. And that'll be goaltending. And a 9-0 run for the Elizabethtown Panthers. And with that, Coach Childress going to take a full timeout. This is a Hardin County Educational Community Television Student Production. HCC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools Live Channel 1 programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunication needs, physical therapy associates, Ryan here at the Remax Premier Properties, Bluegrass Cellular, E-Town Exterminating, and West Point Bank. Tune in weekly for rebroadcast of all local HCEC TV programs airing on Brandenburg Telecom and Comcast Cable Channel 2, Spectrum Communications Channel 187. And you can always check our past broadcast on our YouTube channel. Just search HCEC TV. Reminder, we will have a ball game later tonight. It'll be girls action, top 10 action as Christian Academy of Louisville comes to take on the Elizabethtown Panthers. Thursday night we will be in Brandenburg as uh, Central Harden will go to take on the Green Wave in boys action. Friday night, same schools, just it'll be girls action. Both of those games scheduled for a 7.30 tip time. So we come back onto the court. Matthew Pinkham and Jacob Moberly both checked in for the Panthers. And then to Britain, Cam Sherrard to guard him. Chase Childress top of the key, he will be found by Murphy. That'll be his first, team's third. Kind of ran him to a double screen there. Got him open look momentarily. It, hands it off to Britton. Gets it to the corner. Now they get it into Good. He's first blocked by Fields and then Good repositions himself and gets the two points. Could have been a couple of things called there. Could have been travel, could have been a foul. Lots of options. Into Cam Williams. Really hurried that shot. No good. Pinkham will come out with the rebound. Find Moberly. Fields down low, gives it off to Cam Williams, misses inside, gets his own rebound, and is fouled, and will be heading to the line to shoot two. A couple of shots that time by the Panthers, and the Hawks unable to 
pick it up. Nice job of passing in tight quarters down there. They make the extra pass about three times. That was on Jeremiah Britton, his first. Cam Williams have one more free throw to come. Jackson Thomas checks in for LaRue County. Williams now with four points in the ball game. 52 seconds to go in this opening quarter. Sherrard almost with the steal. Larry's going to have to do back cut, do some different things against this pressure because E-Town's guards really keep just disrupting their offense. Thomas tracks that one down. And the thing we talked about, the size difference, LaRue County really hasn't used that to their advantage. Britain shot no good, gathered in by Mobley, 20 seconds to go in the quarter. Well, their guards have been unable to get them really into their offense because of E-Town's pressure. 10 seconds to go. Sherrod drives inside. I have a block called. That'll be on Britain, that'll be his second. And that's a big call because he's he's their definitely their best ball handler. Moberly to inbound this one, 2.7 seconds to give it right back to Moberly. Shot on the way, no good. And our first quarter comes to a close. Elizabethtown on top, 16 to LaRue County's eight. This is a Hardin County Educational and Community Television student production. HCC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel 1 programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunication needs. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results. With locations in Elizabethtown, Hodgenville, Radcliffe, Brandenburg, Bardstown, and Louisville. Online at physicaltherapyky.com. Ryan Harris of Remax Premier Properties. For all your real estate needs, contact Ryan at 270-723-4626 and he'll get the job done. Bluegrass Cellular, offering the most affordable unlimited plan anywhere where wireless works. Online at bluegrasscellular.com. E-Town Exterminating, 270-737-6900. Online at muckabug.com. And West Point Bank with five offices located in Elizabethtown, Radcliffe, Upton, Glendale, and West Point. Let us help make life simpler. Hometown banking made simple. Online at westpointbank.com. Coach, your thoughts after the first quarter? Well, you know, Larue got a couple of easy baskets in there for good to start the quarter, and then Etown just kind of, they turned up their pressure, and really, like I said, Larue just wasn't able to get into their offense uh, because of the pressure. Larue's got to back cut, do a little something different um, just to show Etown that they can't overplay and gamble as much as they are. On the court to start this second quarter. Carson Childress, Chase Childress, Warner Bryan, Mark Good, and Jeremiah Britton, the starting five for the Hawks. Kaya Sherrard, Alondre Murphy, Miles Fields, Jaquias Franklin, and Camden Williams, starting five for the Panthers. Bryant working really hard in there. The problem is the ball's 30 feet. You know, there's six, seven feet behind the three-point line. It's hard to make that pass in there. Close to getting a five-second call at time is Britton. Picked it up really before he knew where he was going to throw the ball to. Able to get it inside to Brian and gets his first point. And that's just big to big right there. Good, able to throw over fields. That goes off of good. I'm sorry, off of the Panthers and we'll go over to the roof. Etown just not paying attention right there as they didn't get into their press, but Britton helped them out by picking up his dribble. Britton, 12 footer on the way, it's good. He's found, I believe this will be on Franklin. That'll be his first, team's fourth. They rubbed him off a little screen there. A tough shot. Hey, 
Franklin down to the other end, misses that one. That one they steal from behind by Alondre Murphy. Good job by Murphy. They, they, they know where LaRue wants to go with the ball because every time they look good's way, there's somebody sneaking across to double. And Childers picked it up in a terrible spot. And that is a five second call. Coach Childress yelling at his players to move. Specifically, he's yelling at his son, son yeah. to move. <laughs> We're back to their 2 3. I want to apologize to Jeremiah Belton. I called him Jeremiah Britton for the entire quarter. <laughs> Kaya Sherrard's three on the way. It's long. Carson Childress with the rebound. Belton now to bring it up the court. And there. It was actually intended for somebody else. Cam Williams gets the steal, and at the other end gets the bucket. Nice finish, because Brian had it measured there, and Williams kind of slowed down. And Kai Sherrard gets tagged with that one. I'm going to tell you this, Coach Childress was about to lay into an official. He felt there was a foul about five seconds prior to that. I will tell you this, the intensity in the building has just gone up. Yeah. Belton slips but keeps control. Get it down to Brian. Turn and gets his fourth point of the night. 20 to 14, 520 to go in the first half of play. travel that time. Camden Williams now with it. He tries to go baseline. Goes off Belton. He'll stay with the Panthers. Uh, Sherrard inbounds this one for the Panthers. Franklin three on the way, it's long. Miles Fields, good position, gets the rebound. Not able to get the put back. Oh. That goes off of Belton and it'll stay with Elizabethtown. We've seen Fields just have trouble finishing. Uh, and there, right there, that's just a great job holding off there to get position, just can't. Uh, Sherrard three, right side, good. His second three-pointer of the night. Good extra pass by Franklin there because he could have easily shot that ball from the top of the key. Belton inside, actually went off the foot of field. Belton picks it up, kicks to the corner. Carson Childers for three, it's good. A nice job by Belton. Franklin gets inside, reverse wow. layup. One, I don't know how he got it to the other side of the rim, and two, how he got it to roll up over top of the rim. Eight point lead for the Panthers. Aitan doing a really good job helping, helping off in the lane against Good. Fine. Chase Childress. And he eat it. Immediately, everybody okay. right back on them. And the ball comes free. Franklin comes out with it, and it'll be a foul. That'll be the third on Belton. Yeah. His team is third. Lear County staff wanting a foul there at midcourt. It looked like Fields had gone through good to get to the ball. It'll be two free throws, though, for Franklin. His first trip to the line tonight. 3.19 to go here in the second quarter. 
Franklin gives the Panthers a 10 point lead. Now Chase Childress will become the primary ball handler for the Hawks. Murphy on him. Somebody down. open. It's got to be close to a five second call. Carson yeah. Childress gets And there's second. the back cut. They run that set a couple of times. First time they've ever been able to get the back cut good with a nice little pass to Childress. And Franklin just nonchalantly pulls up for three. Knocks it down. There wasn't anybody even close to him. Carson Childress for three. Off the back of the rim, knocked around. Murphy gets it for the Panthers. Fields throws it ahead to Franklin. No one on him. Set shot in and out. Knocked out. Fields gets it to Williams. And Williams gets the bucket. I will say the amount of contact. <laughs> Uh, and it's been both ways. I mean, yep. it's not one more than the other, but they are letting them get after it tonight. And that definitely favors E-Town just by the way that they defend. There's Fields again, gets in the way. Now Franklin comes out with the steal and the layup. We get another timeout with 1.59 to go here. A full timeout for LaRue County. This is a Hardin County Educational Community Television student production. HDC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel One programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunication needs. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results. Ryan Harris of Remax Premier Properties for all your real estate needs. Bluegrass Cellular, offering the most affordable unlimited plan anywhere. E-Town Exterminating, 270-737-6900. And West Point Bank, let us help make life simpler. Hometown banking made simple. Tune in weekly for rebroadcast of all local HCC TV programs airing on Brandenburg Telecom and Comcast Cable Channel 2, Spectrum Communications Channel 184. Check our past broadcast on our YouTube channel. Just search HCEC TV. Reminder about uh, 30 minutes Following the conclusion of this game, we will have girls basketball action as the Centurions of Christian Academy of Louisville will take on the homestanding Panthers of Elizabethtown. Back to action here. It's a 15-point lead now by the Panthers. As it seems like every loose ball the Panthers get to first and they've created a lot of mismatches in transition. E-Town's pressure and quickness is really kind of shown within the last two minutes. And it's even making a simple entry pass to start their offense. I mean, E-Town's e got LaRue just pushed out so far out on the floor. Coach Childress wanting. Yeah, they're trying to go high-low uh, where they Take it to the take it to the corner and the opposite block supposed to come up to the elbow and they try to get a high low and they they had two in the post right there and it's really it's Cam Sherrard picks up his second team six for the next 133 it will be the Hawks in the bonus try to get it down to good he gets double teamed. Yeah, I mean, Stolen away by Cam Sherrard, and he'll be fouled by Chase Childress. Picks up his first, team's fourth. Luke Trumbo will check into the lineup for the Hawks. Matthew Pinkham checks into the lineup along with Jacob Moverly for Elizabethtown. Pinkham to inbound the ball. Into Franklin, no one around him. Three on the way, it's good. That's that's two in the probably pretty much the exact same spot that there was nobody within, you know, five or six feet of him. Yeah, and he's one you would want to guard. Yeah, you gotta you gotta know where he is. 
Get it to Trumbo inside or try to. Another steal by the Panthers. This time Murphy gets it ahead to Pinkham. Pinkham will be fouled by Chase Childress, and he'll be heading to the line to shoot two. Childress with his second, team's fifth. Fifty-five point four seconds to go here in the first half. Off. Got all that land and called them to check in for the Hawks. Cam Williams checks back in for the Panthers. Coach Childress is searching for something right now. To He's put about three different people in on this left-hand wing over here. That one short, knocked away. Thomas had it for LaRue County. They'll stay with the Panthers. I think the officials, I think both of them are going to point in the opposite direction. Yeah. Murphy to inbound this one into Franklin. Etown going to hold for one. Maybe. Franklin, three again. It's good. You could throw down a blanket where he shot that oh, yeah. three from. Maybe a towel in the 17th district. Same spot. Into Warner Bryant. He'll be fouled and gets the bucket. Jacob Moberly will pick up that foul. His first team seventh. Bryant held scoreless in the opening quarter. Has six here. And we'll be heading to the line to make it seven. It's the first time LaRue scored in about three minutes, I believe. <laughs> 20 seconds to go in the half. Moberly will get it up the court, hands it off now to Pinkham. 10 seconds to go. Franklin pump fake and lets the three fly. No good. Thomas with the rebound. Loses it. Moberly shot at the buzzer. No good. And our first half comes to a close with Elizabethtown on top by 18, 40 to 22 over LaRue County. This is a Hardin County Educational and Community Television Student Production. HCEC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel 1 programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunication needs. Physical Therapy Associates, or personal attention for more effective results. With locations in Elizabethtown, Hodgenville, Radcliffe, Brandenburg, Bardstown, and Louisville. Online at physicaltherapyky.com. E-Town, sorry, Ryan Harris of Remax Premier Property. For all your real estate needs, contact Ryan at 270-723-4626 and he'll get the job done. Bluegrass Cellular, offering the most affordable, unlimited plane anywhere where wireless works. Online at bluegrasscellular.com. E-Town Exterminating, 270-737-6900, online at mugabug.com. And West Point Bank with five offices located in Elizabethtown, Radcliffe, Upton, Glendale, and West Point. Let us help make life simpler. Hometown Bank, you made simple, online at westpointbank.com. We'll be right back after this short timeout with first half stats and analysis and second half action. This has been a Hardin County Educational Community Television production. Live local sports are on Brandenburg Channel 1, and all rebroadcasts are on Brandenburg and Comcast Channel 2, Spectrum Communications Channel 184, and on our YouTube site. Also check out our live sporting events on nfhs.com or visit us at harden.k12.ky.us. Hardin County Educational Community Television, located in Hardin County, Kentucky, a division of Hardin County Schools, airing on Brandenburg, Comcast, Spectrum, and also airing online. Providing live coverage of local high school sports. Covering community and school events. While teaching students along the way. HCEC TV, the area's leading educational and government access channel. Training the next generation of media arts students. 
Control your home even when you're not there with Brandenburg Telecom's home automation service. Turn lights on and off, lock and unlock doors, and change settings on your thermostat using your smartphone or tablet. Stop worrying whether or not you remember to close the garage door and save money by programming your thermostat to reduce energy used when you're not home. Call Brandenburg Telecom for a free quote and enjoy the convenience of having home automation, phone, TV, and internet service, all from one local company. All right, son, you ready to open your first savings account? Yes, I am. West Point Bank has been growing with our customers for over 30 years. We know what it takes to support them in every stage of their life. You need a bank that you know and trust to help you reach your goals and make your dreams come true. West Point Bank, hometown banking made simple. If pain is keeping you from doing the things you love, it's time to visit Physical Therapy Associates. We offer a variety of treatment options, including dry needling, A-STEM, tractions, and many other options to relieve pain. Many of our patients are able to avoid surgery and costly pain medication through our treatments. If you haven't tried these options, what are you waiting for? With six locations across central Kentucky, pain relief is only a phone call away. Give Physical Therapy Associates a chance to get you out of pain. Physical Therapy Associates. Friends helping friends. Hey everyone, Ryan here. I just wanted to announce some exciting news that I'm officially a licensed realtor. I've been a part of a championship winning basketball team, a conference winning Bellarmine golf team, and now I'm part of an award winning real estate team, JT Pitts and Associates at Remax Premier Properties. If you have any real estate questions, real estate needs, or just want to reach out, please don't hesitate to call or send me a message. My number is right below. I'm ready to bring that winning mentality to the real estate industry so I can give my clients the service they deserve. Thanks. Bluegrass Cellular's faster data speeds and more complete coverage keep you connected to your community, no matter where life takes you. Whether you're exploring your own backyard or forging new paths across the country. Talk better, text better, play better, and share better. Here, there, and everywhere. Bluegrass Cellular, your community expanded. E-Town Exterminating, a locally owned, family-run pest control company, has been serving Hardin County and the surrounding area since 1976. E-Town Exterminating provides pest control for residential and commercial properties. E-Town Exterminating on Ring Road in Elizabethtown. Phone 737-6900. E-Town Exterminating. What the buzz is all about. For additional information on HCEC TV programming, call 270-769-8855 or email Gina Ryan at harden.kyschools.us. On behalf of HCEC TV, we would like to thank all of our live covered sponsors. Welcome back to Elizabethtown High School, Charlie Rollins Memorial Gymnasium for tonight's fifth region basketball action. Our halftime score has the Elizabethtown Panthers on top, 40 to 22 over the LaRue County Hawks. Going down some scoring, from the first half of play, first for the visitors on the scoreboard. Warner Bryan with seven. Jeremiah Belton with four. Carson Childress had five. And Mark Good with six for the homestanding Panthers. Alondre Murphy with seven. Jaquias Franklin, after a 15 point second quarter, has 19. Kaya Sherrard with six. And Cam Williams with eight. Coach, your thoughts from the opening half? Well, you know, E Town's pressure and their just, their ability to keep LaRue County from running any type of offense other than a couple of possessions there in the second quarter. And then, you know, Franklin got going, and we've seen him do that. He scores in bunches, and, you know, he hit three threes. Like you said, you could have thrown a, uh, a beach towel over uh, over the spot he hit it from, and nobody within five or six feet of him. So, see what LaRue County does. Maybe, the, you know, they stay in that 2-3 because I don't know really what other defense they have because they don't really match up well man-to-man -man against E-Town. Both teams come back out with their starting five for the Panthers. It'll be Camden Williams, Alondre Murphy, Jaquias Franklin, Miles Fields, and Kaya Sherrard. For the Hawks, Carson Childress, Chase Childress, Warner Bryan, Mark Good, and Jeremiah Belton. They find Murphy at the free throw line. That one was partially blocked. Camden Williams gets the rebound. That one is blocked by Warner Bryan. Ball to the floor. Bryan picks it up and gives it off to Belton. Belton again playing with three fouls. 
from the first half. They get it down low to good, and that'll be a foul on Franklin. Good did, good did a nice job there using his body. Kind of got fields off balance. That's the second team or second foul on Franklin. First team foul of the second half, and Warner Bryan gets the Hawks off. You know, the thing about LaRue in this 2-3 zone is you're not really going to turn people over out of this zone. Um, you just got to hope for missed shots and you got to rebound. And Alondre Murphy misses that one from three. Rebound by Good. Six three-pointers by the Panthers in the first half. And that time Warner Bryant got his own rebound and the putback. Is Etown going to hold the ball? I would think not. I mean, that is one of the hardest things to do. I saw it several years ago, actually, at North Harden. Louisville Eastern held it for oh, about been, six and a half minutes. That's been a bunch of years. Yeah. Oh, that's I, a double dribble. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it sounds easy, hold the ball. It is so hard when you are used to running and, and dribbling and passing and staying to just stop. Well, he's trying to get him to come out of that zone. And, you know, I, there's, a, there's a bunch of different theories, schools of thought. Good from the free throw line, knocks that one down. And a 6-0 run to start this third quarter for the Hawks. And Little County wanting to push off. Franklin no, shot inside, no good. Murphy with the rebound. Foul is on Carson Childress, his first, team's first. Murphy to the line to shoot two. Yep. We've seen this out of this official. This official he does not listen to it. He doesn't matter if you're talking to him, talking to somebody else, he's not going to listen to it. And I can say this, and I don't know if our microphones picked it up. Coach Childress said, called the official by name yeah. and said, the reason you aren't looking at us is because you missed the call. Yeah. And that was it. I, the, the, the problem is, and it's he's yelling across the floor, and this particular official, who's new to this region, and is, is a really good official, but it, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't listen to it, and he, and he won't. Uh, we've seen it in the games we've done. Murphy knocks down his two. Franklin misses the second of his two, and it will be Elizabethtown basketball. Five forty-three to go here in the third quarter. And Kaya Sherrard for three. In and out, Brian with the rebound. We've got Carson Childress up ahead. Belton loses that one. Fields gets it and travels. Ball goes back over to the Hawks. Chase Childress, three on the way off the front of the iron. They foul going the other direction. This will be on Warner Bryan, his first, team second. I said second, team third. I forgot the technical, technical. foul also counts as a team foul. Murphy in the corner for three, short. Carson Childress with the rebound. Ahead for Warner Bryant. He stepped out of bounds before he was able to get it back in. And 
I think it's a good play if if you're not down 15. It's a, it's a tough catch, running yep. full speed, asking and and Brian's athletics all get out, but turnover back to the Panthers. 4:45 to go here in the third quarter. Town just taking it around the outside of this zone. Kai Sherrard now goes inside, gets it to Fields. Fields with the reverse layup gets his first two points of the ball game. Tough catch and finish by Fields. Carson Childress three in the corner, no good, and he is hurt. I think Might Fields hit the finger. Belton just picked up his fourth. And he basically ran, ran through Franklin. So with 4.01, Jeremiah Belton picks up his fourth foul. And they didn't get him in. Well, the thing is, he just comes to this end of the table, and the horn is all the way at the other end. Good pass inside fields, back-to-back -back trips with two points. Good, now we'll bring it up the court. And a cutting Chase Childress for a reverse layup. His first two points of the night. Nice pass and finish. Franklin inside, kick out, it's going to be a charge. Foul on Franklin, his third. Team second. Caden Davis will check into the lineup for the Hawks. And now D Town brings up the pressure. Again with Belton out, it'll chase Childers, will do most of the ball handling for the Hawks. And it's tough. Clean against the Laundry Murphy, real long and quick. Pass inside to Good. And get that foul on Fields. That'll be his second, team's third. And they're, they're going at it down there. And Good will be at the line to shoot two. Good comes into the ball game, averaging three, 23 points and nine rebounds. At six points in the first quarter and did not score in the second quarter. Cam Sherrard and Jacob Moberly check in for the Panthers. Good with one more free throw. Out. Fields with the rebounds and it's taken away by Childress and Fields picks up his third foul. And Fields got a technical, so that'll be his fourth foul. Again. <laughs> I will say this. I mean, it, as intense it, as it got in the second quarter, as tense as it got early in this quarter, I will say that official got it back under control or back to where there is a lack of intensity. Chase Childress to the line to shoot these two technical free throws. That one short, and it will be LaRue County basketball. E-Town now has five. Team fouls. Camden Williams will check back in. Mark Good probably has four inches and about 20 pounds on Camden Williams. But it's the guard play, and as you said earlier, they have the Hawks just can't get into their offense. Trying a high low action, and they had it, went away from it. Try to throw down low to Warner Bryant. Misses inside, missed the tip. 
and gets the follow-up. 13 points now for Warner Bryan in the ball game. Inside for Williams, misses. Went through the hands of Murphy, picked up there by Davis, and now Chase Childress. Pass down low to Good, blocked oh, nice by block. Camden Williams. Moberly comes out with it. And the left-handed layup, no good. Laundry Murphy with the rebound, the putback is good. Good hustle by Murphy. Murphy now with 11 points. 2.08 to go in the third quarter. E-Town up by 15. And Cam Sherrard picks up his third foul. Team six. So for the next two minutes of this quarter, all of the fourth quarter, Lure County will be in the bonus. Again. Cam Sherrard guards Chase Childress. Back tipped. Murphy sends it down to Cam Sherrard. It's good, and he's fouled, and he'll be heading to the line. Yeah, if you're going to foul there, you got to make sure he doesn't score. Carson Childress picks up his second, team's fifth. Chargers tries to send it to the corner to Davis. If that's on Cam Sherrard, that's four. It is on Cam Sherrard, his fourth. Team seventh, and it'll be one and one. Caden Davis will be heading to the line. Matthew Pinkin checks in for Elizabethtown. Davis now will get the bonus free throw. <laughs> and Coach Childress becomes about the 10,000th consecutive coach to lose an argument with the official. <laughs> yep, the officials are undefeated. Yeah. They're not always right, but they're undefeated. Yes. <laughs> Find Pinkham inside, back out to Murphy. Murphy, about a six-footer, gets it to die on the back part of the rim. That's a nice move by Murphy. Murphy now with 13 points on the night. Childress inside, kicks out to Carson Childress. They try to go down low. Kaya Sherrard knocked it away. Now Carson Childress goes down, able to get it to good. Good just turns and right over top of Camden Williams. And we don't see that very often. Well, I was talking with somebody today. You don't you just don't see many true post players anymore. They all want to shoot the three. 26 seconds to go here in the third quarter. the 12. Warner Bryan picks up that one. As he runs through Kaya Sherrard. That'll be his second team sixth. And from this point on, both teams will shoot the bonus. Get it into Murphy, down to seven seconds. To the corner for Williams. And Murphy should have lost it. No one will get it and shoot it. And our third quarter comes to a close. Elizabethtown on top, 54-38 over LaRue County. This is a Hardin County Educational and Community Television student production. HCC-TV is a division of 
Hardin County Schools. Special thanks to our sports coverage sponsors, Brandenburg Telecom, Physical Therapy Associates, Ryan Harris of Remax Premier Property, Bluegrass Cellular, E-Town Exterminating, and West Point Bank. Having a presentation to Coach Mark Brown, who just retired recently from Elizabethtown. He then went over to Nelson County High School in 1988 until 2000, winning the 1996 Kentucky High School Class 4A State Championship with the Nelson County Cardinals. Coach Brown then ventured to John Harden High School from 2001 to 2012 with the Class 5A State runner-up in 2009. At his tenure here at Elizabethtown High School, Coach Mark Brown, since 2014, has collected 59 wins with only 16 losses. He's had three consecutive regional championships and a regional runner-up in six years as a Panthers head coach, totaling his career to 13 regional championships, 20 district championships, and four times Coach Mark Brown was named statewide Coach of the Year for the state of Kentucky. Overall record of 331 wins, 140 losses, that ranks him as fifth all time in the state of Kentucky and wins. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mr. Mark Brown. A nice presentation as Coach recently retired. One of the best in the business. You heard his record there. State title at Nelson County. Started the program at John Harden and just completed a good run here at the Panthers. His son, Ross Brown, accepted the job earlier this week, or actually last week. We start the fourth quarter. Our score, 54 to 38. Elizabethtown on top, on the court. From both teams, again, their starters. It'll be Carson Childress, Warner Bryan, Jeremiah Belton, Chase Childress, and Mark Good. For the Panthers, Jaquias Franklin, Camden Williams, Kaya Sherrard, Miles Fields, and Alondre Murphy. Belton has four fouls for the Hawks. Fields and Cam Sherrard with four fouls for the Panthers. Somebody's going to the line here. Alondre Murphy will pick up that. That's his second. Team's eighth, and I believe that'll put good at the line, shooting one in the bonus. If they can get it into the lane there to good or, or Brian either one, they're going to shoot some free throws this quarter. Good misses the first one. Fields with the rebound. Now the Root County extends. And that'll be on Chase Childress. That's his third. And that'll send Franklin to the line to shoot one of the bonus. Franklin three of four from the line tonight. Through and some transition plays off a of made free throw. They really get it and go. That one rims out. Warner Bryant with another rebound for the Hawks. Belton down the court. They get it inside to good. Steps through. The bucket is good. Kaya Sherrard picks up his second. Team's ninth. <laughs> Good to the line to shoot one. And from this point on, the Hawks will be in the double bonus. Get comfortable because this, this yep. fourth quarter could take a while because they've tightened up the way they're calling this game. Lure County sinks back into the 2 3. Extending it just a little more than we saw him extend it in the first half. Franklin inside. That one goes through the hands of Fields. Uh, turnover to the Hawks. Get it into Belton. Chase Childress open three on the way off the iron, no good. Mark Good with the rebound and the putback. Good. 
think they got it to, was it a 12 or 10 when the technical occurred in the third quarter? Closest they've been in quite 12. some time. Franklin pull up at the elbow. Long, good with the rebound. And Kaya Sherrard gets the steal. At the other end, the layup. Sherrard now with eight points. That was a heck of a defensive play by Sherrard. Good feed from Brian to good. Tyus Sherrard, three, off the iron, good with the rebound. Gets it to Belton, they've got numbers if they get it ahead. Chase Childress with it, lays it back for Carson. Now they get it down low to Brian, and it's good. Brian now with 15. Out, I believe. The Hawks faithful stand up. And there it is. With 5.24 to go in the ball game, the Hawks cut it to a 10-point lead, 57-47. And it will be a 30-second timeout for Coach Hare. This is an HCUC TV student production, a division of Hardin County Schools. Special thanks to our live sports coverage sponsor, Brandenburg Telecom, Physical Therapy Associates, Ryan Harris of Remax Premier Properties, Bluegrass Cellular, E-Town Exterminating, and West Point Bank. A reminder, approximately 8 o'clock tonight, we will have a girls matchup as the number eight Centurions of Christian Academy of Louisville will take on the sixth ranked Elizabethtown Panthers. Coach, if you're Coach here, what are you trying to get now to kind of uh, stop? You just want to make sure you get good shots. You know, they've got a little quick. Last couple shots have been a little rushed uh, against that zone and um, just kind of settle down. You know, you, you, you're still up 10. Uh, you got to realize, too, that you don't have to shoot. You know, you want great shots, and I'm sure that's kind of what he talked about. Both team starters still in the ball game. He kind of kind of spread it out again. That's close to a five-second call. Now Murphy with it. A little surprised they didn't try to trap yeah. Sherrard in the corner there. Murphy drives inside, kicks to Sherrard in the corner. Back to Williams. Murphy in the corner, three on the way. Oh, Don't know that's the shot they wanted. Judging by Coach Harris' reaction, no. Skip pass to Carson Childers, three on the way, it's good. That was a great pass by Belton. And the reason that's there is because they've got everybody sucked in. Garden, uh, Mark Good. First time since the second quarter. It's in single digits. Carson Childress with the steal, misses inside. Murphy with the rebound, quickly out to Kaya Sherrard. Coach Hare going to take a timeout. And they're going to take another 30-second timeout. This is a Hardin County Educational Community Television student production. HCC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel 1 programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunication needs. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results. Ryan Harris of Remax Premier Properties for all your real estate needs. Bluegrass Cellular, offering the most affordable unlimited plan anywhere. E-Town Exterminating, 270-737-6900. And West Point Bank, let us help make life simpler. Hometown banking made simple. 3.53 to go here in the ball game, a seven point lead now for the Panthers. They had an eight point lead at the end of the first quarter. They had a 18 point lead at the end of the second quarter and then been cut down to 
a 16-point lead at the end of the third, and now got into single digits at seven. They get it into Camden Williams, straight up, no good. Warner Bryant with the rebound. No one really stops the belt and he gets all the way inside. Somebody's fifth foul has happened. I believe this will be on Fields. Miles Fields will foul out with four points. Belton gets the two points and will be heading to the line. That's not something we've seen Belton. You know, Belton hadn't been able to get to the rim much tonight. And nobody stopped the ball. He just kept on rolling. And we have a towel. We do. 3.42 to go here in the ball game. Jeremiah Belton at the line with six points in the ball game tonight. This is that one. Good gets the rebound and the putback. And the lead is three. And a foul on Jaquias Franklin. That is his fourth. I didn't see that. I believe that when is that we were back sitting to here the watching <laughs> earlier when he was talking about physics and people getting pushed across the floor, uh, I believe Coach Childress got that call five minutes ago or ten minutes ago. Belton now with it, gets it to Chase Childress, top of the key. To get it into Mark Good. Now Belton, oh, picks up his dribble in a bad spot, able to get it to Chase Childress. Now Carson Childress with it. Belton gets it inside to Good. They swing it around, Childress for three, it's good. And we're all tied yeah. at 57. Ryan with a, just a great pass. Thought he was gonna shoot that 15 footer. <laughs> Williams able to get into the lane, kicks out to Franklin. Goes back in, 12-footer on the way, no good. Alondre Murphy with the rebound and the putback. Murphy's had a nice night. 15 points on the ball in the ball game for Murphy. now with it. Kicks to Brian. He, good pass down low. Oh, and Williams was close yeah. to getting teed up there. That would be his first. Mark Good to the line to shoot two. Good two for six from the line tonight. and Williams having words back and forth. Official steps in. That one barely grazed the front yeah. of the rim. And I will say this, Mark Good needs to be on the court, but so far now two for seven from the free throw line. That might be the person they foul down the stretch. Knocks that one through. Good now with 21 points on the evening. Panthers lead by one. Oh, 
Franklin into the lane, kicks to Kaius Gerard. 16 Tough footer, shot. no good, good with the rebound. Now Belton to bring it up the court. That's a turn and pass. Warner Bryan was open. Coach Childress now is going to take a timeout. Rue County will take a full timeout. This is a Hardin County Educational and Community Television student production. HCC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel One programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunication needs. Physical therapy associates, more personal attention for more effective results. Ryan Harris of Remax Premier Properties for all your real estate needs. Contact Ryan. Bluegrass Cellular offering the most affordable unlimited plan anywhere. E-Town Exterminating 270-737-6900. And West Point Bank, let us help make life simpler. Hometown banking made simple. Tune in weekly for rebroadcast of all local HCC TV programs airing on Brandenburg Telecom and Comcast Cable Channel 2, Spectrum Communications Channel 184. You can search our past broadcast on our YouTube channel. Search HCEC TV. 112 to go in the ball game. 59-58. Elizabethtown on top of the Hawks, but they will have the basketball inbounding it right next to their bench. Chase, or sorry, Carson Childress to get it in. He gets it into Chase Childress. He has good. Drives, gets it to Bryant, passes down low to good. And good puts the Hawks up. Bryant with a borderline bullet pass from pretty close range. And good just with big meat hooks. And Coach Hare now going to take a timeout. 50.1 seconds to go. And Coach, what do you call in this situation? It, Miles Fields has fouled out. Camden Williams can go inside, but usually does not. So you, what do you call in this when Lure County sits in the zone? Well, the first thing you got to do is you got to get your team back in the game. E-Town just looked, their body language about the last six minutes, like they checked out. Uh, you, you know, you're not really going to go inside anyway because you haven't, even if Fields was in there, they haven't done very much throwing the ball inside other than off penetration by Franklin. So you're going to try, I would think you're going to try to get Franklin. You can screen the zone and create driving opportunities. Something going to the basket, um, you know, or driving to the basket, they stop the ball. You got to kick out to Sherrard. Mobley's in the game now. He's a decent three-point shooter. Um, hey, but the, my biggest concern with E-Town, if I'm Coach Air right now, they just, their body, like, they, walk, they walk to the timeout there, and they just, you know, they're not real engaged right now. Let's see if we can get them back in it. Get a reminder at approximately 8 o'clock tonight, we will have girls basketball action as the Christian Academy of Louisville Centurions take on the Elizabethtown Panthers in a top 10 matchup of girls basketball. On the court for the Panthers, Jacob Moberly, Jaquias Franklin, Kaya Savard, Alondre Murphy, and Camden Williams for the Hawks. Carson Childress, Chase Childress, Jeremiah Belton, Mark Good, and Warner Bryan. Moberly inside, they get it out to Franklin. Franklin drives inside, makes a couple guys miss, and then he's trapped along the baseline. Able to get it to Moberly. His 10-footer is good. Nice play, but Moberly kind of made something out of nothing. Quickly to the other end, they get it to Mark Good. That's going to be a charge. Mark Good with his first foul of the night with the ball back over to the Panthers. Of course, that's not a shooting foul, so. 23.5 seconds to go. So Belton can't foul. Belton has four. Chase Childress has three. You got to be careful right here. The way they're set up, they'll give up a run out in a hurry. And they get it into Franklin. And they were going to try to foul him. Well, I think they're trying to. Gives it to Murphy, to Moberly. 
and finally found with 12.2 seconds to go. Carson Childress picks up his third. Had a couple chances for a steal there. That's the team's ninth, so Jacob Moberly to the line to shoot one in the bonus. And gets it to roll in. Now we get the bonus free throw. And Coach Childress going to take a timeout. I think that's their last one. I think they only have a 30 second timeout to go. So their last timeout will be a 30 second timeout. And even if he makes this, that puts him up three, but LaRue doesn't have to have a three with 12 seconds to go. They've been pretty good in transition off, off the free throws. Push it down, get a layup, foul again, and, you know, try to try to keep it stand in the game. But, you know, he's got a uh, – Childress has hit a – both Childress have hit a couple threes tonight. You got – and they're going to be open because even with this amount of time, you got to figure all the, all the attention is going to be at good. So he's got options here. Twelve point two seconds to go. Jacob Moberly to the line. Moberly with the Panthers down one. Made about a ten footer to give him back the lead. Then he is fouled on the next possession. Is knocked down the first free throw. He's been. That one in and out. Ryan with the rebound, now Belton with it. They have no time to wait, seven seconds to go. Belton almost loses it, and it falls to Camden Williams. He's fouled with one second to go. And Belton came down and lost the handle of it as he was trying to kick it out. Mark Good picks up that foul. Camden Williams will go to the line to shoot two. Yeah, just. Kind of, I thought, I thought Belton was going to just take it to the basket. That one's off. You got time for it. You almost want this to go in so you can set up something. He misses it. Now, Good's going to have to sling it, not going to be there. And so our ball game comes to a close. Elizabethtown with a hard point, 62 to 60 victory. This is a Hardin County Education Community Television student production. HCC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel One programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunication needs. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results with locations in Elizabethtown, Hodgenville, Rankley, Brandenburg, Bardstown, and Louisville. Online at physicaltherapyky.com. Ryan Harris of Remax Premier Properties. For all your real estate needs, contact Ryan at 270-723-4626 and he'll get the job done. Bluegrass Cellular, often the most affordable, unlimited plan anywhere where wireless works. Online at bluegrasscellular.com. Etan Exterminating, 270-737-6900. Online at mugabug.com and West Point Bank with five offices located in Elizabethtown, Radcliffe, Upton, Glendale, and West Point. Let us help make life simpler. Hometown banking made simple online at westpointbank.com. Unofficial scoring from tonight's ball game. First for the visitors on the scoreboard. Warner Bryan had 15. Jeremiah Belton with six. Carson Childress with eight. Caden Davis had two. Chase Childress with six. Mark Good with 23. For the Panthers, Alondre Murphy with 15. Jaquias Franklin had 21. Jacob Moberly with three. Cam Sherrard had three. Kaya Sherrard with eight, Camden Williams with eight, and Miles Fields with four. Coach, your thoughts after that ball game? Heck of a ball game. You know, I mean, LaRue, LaRue battled the second half, you know, really outplayed E-Town, and, you know, with a break here or there, uh, you know, could have had a chance to win the ball game. Uh, the, the good effort, you know, E-Town found a way to win. Good teams find a way to win, and I think Coach Hare, this is a good film 
uh, for his kids to watch because he'll show them the ball movement in the first half and how they were moving and they were they were they had some life to them. And in the second half, they just kind of got stagnant. You know, some of that they they tried to pull the ball out, tried to hold it a little bit, um, may have backfired on them a little bit because I think it got them out of their rhythm. But you know, a good win with Fields fouling out, fouling out, um, and you know they kind of lost their composure there for a little while, but. You know, they find a way to win, and this is, I mean, I'm telling you, this is a team that if you're a loser of a district, assuming LaRue County wins their district, you don't you don't want to see this LaRue County team in the first round of the region. I mean, this this is a good basketball team, and they made some really good adjustments tonight in the second half against E-Town's pressure. And for the Panthers, they moved to 22-2 on the season, while the Hawks fall to 18-7. and this has been a Hardin County Educational Community Television production. Live local sports are on Brandenburg Channel 1, and all rebroadcasts are on Brandenburg and Comcast Channel 2, Spectrum Communications Channel 184, and on our YouTube site. Also check out our live sporting events on nfhs.com or visit us at harden.k12.ky.us. Hardin County Educational Community Television, located in Hardin County, Kentucky a division of Hardin County Schools, airing on Brandenburg, Comcast, Spectrum, and also airing online. Providing live coverage of local high school sports. Covering community and school events. While teaching students along the way. HCEC TV, the area's leading educational and government access channel, training the next generation of media arts students. Control your home even when you're not there with Brandenburg Telecom's home automation service. Turn lights on and off, lock and unlock doors, and change settings on your thermostat using your smartphone or tablet. Stop worrying whether or not you remember to close the garage door and save money by programming your thermostat to reduce energy used when you're not home. Call Brandenburg Telecom for a free quote and enjoy the convenience of having home automation, phone, TV, and internet service, all from one local company. All right, son, you ready to open your first savings account? Yes, I am. West Point Bank has been growing with our customers for over 30 years. We know what it takes to support them in every stage of their life. You need a bank that you know and trust to help you reach your goals and make your dreams come true. West Point Bank, hometown banking made simple. If pain is keeping you from doing the things you love, it's time to visit Physical Therapy Associates. We offer a variety of treatment options, including dry needling, A-STEM, tractions, and many other options to relieve pain. Many of our patients are able to avoid surgery and costly pain medication through our treatments. If you haven't tried these options, what are you waiting for? With six locations across Central Kentucky, pain relief is only a phone call away. Give Physical Therapy Associates a chance to get you out of pain. Physical Therapy Associates, friends helping friends. Hey everyone, Ryan here. I just wanted to announce some exciting news that I'm officially a licensed realtor. I've been a part of a championship winning basketball team, a conference winning Bellarmine golf team, and now I'm part of an award winning real estate team, JT Pitts & Associates at Remax Premier Properties. If you have any real estate questions, real estate needs, or just want to reach out, please don't hesitate to call or send me a message. My number is right below. I'm ready to bring that winning mentality to the real estate industry so I can give my clients the service they deserve. Thanks. Bluegrass Cellular's faster data speeds and more complete coverage keep you connected to your community, no matter where life takes you. Whether you're exploring your own backyard or forging new paths across the country. Talk better, text better, play better, and share better. Here, there, and everywhere. Bluegrass Cellular, your community expanded. E-Town Exterminating, a locally owned, family-run pest control company, has been serving Hardin County and the surrounding area since 1976. E-Town Exterminating provides pest control for residential and commercial properties. E-Town Exterminating on Ring Road in Elizabethtown. Phone 737 6900. E-Town Exterminating. What the buzz is all about. 
For additional information on HCEC TV programming, call 270-769-8855 or email Gina Ryan at harden.kyschools.us. On behalf of HCEC TV, we would like to thank all of our live coverage sponsors.